Good morning. Welcome to the premier mini podcast of Taking the Lead. We're going to be doing a series of interviews with leaders that I respect. We're going to keep them very brief for you. And I'm just thrilled to introduce someone that I think most of you know. She is a social media plus PR plus content plus SEO plus digital. What did I miss? Public relations. Uh, consultant, trainer, and author, and a very dear friend, Deirdre Breckenridge. Welcome to the podcast. Take Thank me. you. I'm honored to be your first guest. Very exciting for us both. So people know you for a number of things, but one of the most recent is as the author of Answers for Modern Communicators. We're all looking for answers. So I wanted to ask you, what are the skills or attributes that modern communicators share with truly effective leaders? Well, there is definitely overlap. The first thing that comes to my mind, and maybe it's because I am a storyteller and modern communicators have to be storytellers and leaders too, your writing and your speaking skills are so important. And I also think um, another top of mind skill is your ability to listen. You know, we all say that we listen, but are you actively listening? Because when you can actively listen, then you can actually get to the problems that you're trying to solve as a leader or a communicator. And that's really important. Um, what I find sometimes is that if you don't really listen, you identify the wrong problem and any strategy you put into place as a leader or a communicator is not going to work. Great points. Listening is such a critical skill and I think more and more valued, fortunately. So, you know, there are many definitions of leadership. I, I lean towards the one that says it's using your energy and your influence to get the desired outcomes. Most of us think of leadership in terms of leading our teams, leading our peers, even leading up to our bosses. I, I use the term leading up rather than managing up. But tell me what tenets you, leadership tenets you've used to lead yourself, please. Okay, so um, accountability, that realizing um, if I make a mistake, owning up to it, that's really important, knowing how to course correct if you go down a path. Uh, so my own accountability and what I do really, really matters. There's also discipline. And that's something, especially as an entrepreneur, there were so many weekends and nights that family and friends wanted to do, you know, fun things, go out, go to the movies, go to dinner. But I had to have discipline when there were times you have to know when to work and when to play. And lastly, it's to be the role model to not just talk, but to walk the talk. I think that's really important. So that's what I keep top of mind for myself, as well as when I lead a team. Great, great points. Very valuable. Last question. We all make leadership mistakes or mistakes as leaders, leadership faux pas, I call them. Would you be willing to share one of yours? Sure, just one. <laughs> so, but we you know, said we're, we're keeping it brief. Right, you know? We're, we're keeping it short. So yeah, 30 years, I could yeah. pinpoint quite a few. Um, I just remember having an opportunity to pitch a prospective client, a technology company. I was team leader, right, leading this, this particular pitch. And I approved all of the ideas and strategies that we were going to bring to the table. And my, I guess we just didn't step out of our comfort zone. And I could say that I was the leader who made the decision not to push the envelope when it came to some of the newer media. So take this back to around 2003, if you can imagine. And, you know, we, we really prided ourselves on being a new media company. So we get to this pitch and we present our little hearts out. And we thought, you know, we're all like patting ourselves on the back when we finish sigh of relief. And the CEO of this technology company looks at me and says, yeah, okay, this is all well and good, but where's the new stuff? <laughs> and that was just such a slap in the face. Um, and I realized that 
I had made a faux pas <laughs> because we were not looking at the new technology. Mm. And if you're going to pitch a technology company, what do you have to do? They're going to want new media channels. We didn't look at blogs and RSS. And at the time, social networks were forming. So that really made me step back. Um, we changed a lot of things at my agency in terms of how we would research and what we brought to the table with media channels. And it also led to a book. I did enough research to write the book PR 2.0. <laughs> See, so we can bounce back from those leadership situations. And I think part of it, we look at it as an opportunity you know, you really, you really can turn it into greatness. And that's, I think, one of the signs of a great leader. Thank, <laughs> Thank you, you so much for sharing your leadership wisdom with us and for encouraging me to launch this podcast. I really appreciate that. And I know we'll be chatting soon. Thank well, you. thank you for the opportunity.